Hello everyone. Today in this short video, we are going to see how we can access the VM task provided. Log into your portal and go to general instruction and important links section. And there you can see that VM access uh, button. Just click on that. You will be redirected to this website and just log in there. You will be asked for setting up a password and uh, log in there. Set up a password that you can remember because we have to use it for SSHing this. Just copy this command SSH and open up your PowerShell window and just paste it there and uh, press enter. You will be uh, prompted to type your password that you have just created. So just type that password and now you are logged in. So uh, seeing what uh, where we are, we as we can see we are in currently in the home directory and we have this readme file and su2001 folder let us just read what uh, read this file and this shows uh, like uh, where these uh, assignments are present they are present in slash opt se2001 and your solution should be in your home directory se2001 folder and uh, the assignment name accordingly so just see we have that folder se2001 we can just cd into that and see that we don't have anything present there so for every question you have to first create a directory and then place your solution in it uh, i for uh, demonstration purposes i will be doing that assignment zero which is which is present in this directory right yeah i will be doing this assignment zero and uh, assignment one to ten are uh, graded for uh, which are of 10 marks and these practice assignments are same as replicate questions which are, are not graded so just uh, create uh, the directory mkdir as assignment 0 and cd into that so for uh, getting this question statement you can use the command synchro show here you will get the uh, question statement remember to uh, write that uh, uh, directory name as uh, in slash opt directory because uh, then only it will mark your solution now uh, this, since this is your zero vm task and i uh, this is not graded so i will provide you with the solution for this for creating for uh, uh, solving this first we have to create a place our solution in the script.sh file so we can just create this using vim and just write our uh, solution for this we will be using sh256 sum so just sha256 sum for that first argument that we provide and just pipe it to cut command to get the first field it's f1 all right we are done and we can just write and quit all right we can see we can see our uh, script.sh as as uh, we as we have got the solution for this we can check it by synchro eval and now see since uh, we do not have we did not give it the execution executable permissions uh, it uh, it does not have this executable permissions it will uh, fail in uh, submitting it so first we have to give it mm, the executable permissions 777 script.sh and now we have every permission for this file and uh, we will just do synchro eval and now so uh, for marking your submission you have to uh, do synchro eval every time and just like that you have to create every directory that there are and uh, do all the questions provided have a nice day bye